Hey yo, what's the prowl with the top fans of this channel, the Chico Army, but if you're new, you haven't earned your place with that group, you're just a viewer of the two. Well, you gotta get used to me, cause I'm your host, Tyler, and if you're gonna roll up into this content, you better expect the unexpected. Oh! You know our kitty Wayne, it's time for Chico Crypto. Well, it looked like death and destruction once again last week with the markets getting brought right down with the tech stonks. But those tech stonks, they bounced, including one that I called was going to bounce hard, Tesla. And it sure did, up nearly 35% since last week's low on the 8th and is back over 400 bucks as of yesterday. And why is this? Like I showed in the video, something called battery day is coming and that could send the stonk to the moon. Well, just two days after the video, old Musky Boy took to Twitter and tweeted this. Many exciting things will be unveiled on Battery Day 922. And of course, because of the rebound from the likes of Tesla and other tech stonks, crypto and Bitcoin has rebounded as well. BTC bounced off the 10K lows on that same day as Tesla, the 8th and since surged to the $10,700 mark, up 7.15%. But you wanna know which coin has rebounded with more of a vengeance? Ethereum. Since it's low of around 326, it's back over 382 bucks as of yesterday, an increase of over 17%. So, is it true? Is Ethereum a better buy than Bitcoin for the next bull run? Well, DeFi and that infrastructure being built on top of Ethereum is a seriously bullish case for the protocol. Ethereum is stealing away BTC from its main chain because of this. Live stream over the weekend, the number of BTC on Ethereum was at 82,847. As of yesterday, it was 85,718, basically a 3,000 BTC growth in just two days or over $32 million. That rate keeps up. In just two months, it will double its number, upwards of 180K BTC, resulting in 1% of the circulating supply being locked on Ethereum. Which looking at Bitcoin's rich list, this total combined would put BTC on Ethereum as one of the top two wallets, which will scare those with the most BTC. As you can see, the top names listed are centralized exchanges like Huobi, Binance, Bitfinex, and more. DeFi versus CeFi, it's the tale of the coming tape. And guess what? Those in charge are announcing the war cry. Old Suzy said this on Twitter. Binance Smart Chain, transaction volume is now 14% of Ethereum. BNB market cap is 10% of Ethereum. In addition to BSC, Binance Smart Chain, BNB has a native fast DEX blockchain, burn discount fees on Binance, and more. Yeah, their Ethereum competitor chain, their new smart chain, a copy of what Justin Sun was trying to do but failed at, is moving on to a full-on attack versus Ethereum's DeFi. And this will only increase in the future. You see how he says, in addition to the BSC, BNB has a native fast DEX blockchain. Yeah, the Binance Dex has been a failure since launch, but he still wants it to be bigger than Uniswap. That's why they built it. Yet even with the smart chain surge, this volume is peanuts, about 1.5 million for the Binance Dex, and Uniswap has nearly 550. 40 million. So don't get comfortable, Ethereum DeFi warriors. More is coming and let me tell you a whole lot more. But the thing people need to realize is the more Ethereum gets battered by not only the Binance Clan, Tron, Shoot, even Fluffy Pony, former lead maintainer of Monero, the better this is for Ethereum. These attacks mean Ethereum is succeeding, especially when they come from distributed entities across multiple platform tribes, Bitcoin Maxis, Fluffy Pony, Chinese centralized crews, and more. So as an Ether holder, don't be scared of this. Just know it's a reason to be bullish as others want what Ethereum has and they will never succeed in taking it. For example, let's see them try and take this. You guys know the baseline protocol. They have 
have been building, growing, and pushing forward with their Ethereum standard. Nothing like baseline can ever be built on Tron or Binance chain. I'm sorry to burst that bubble, but baseline, they just announced a new partner has joined. They tweeted, welcome Accenture. Which is interesting because Accenture announced they were partnering with the Digital Dollar Project in March of this year, whose aim is to promote the establishment of US central bank digital currency. So those types of corporations, large entities are building on Ethereum, not other chains, and the proof is in the development pudding. When Accenture starts building on Tron, give me a holler. So corporates, besides Accenture, who is building on Ethereum and not the others? Well, Baseline Protocol has more than a few of them. Coca-Cola, which is baselining their data, and according to this Coindesk report on their partnership, Coca-Cola of North America, Kona, will be publishing the results in Q4 of this year. Coke and Accenture, but there is more. Ernst & Young, who is a founding member of Baseline and created Nightfall on top of Ethereum. Then there is also Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, who is a part of the Baseline. And guess who announced a joint infrastructure partnership in June of this year? Another Baseline member, Consensus and AMD did, to build out Ethereum infrastructure data centers powered by AMD hardware. This fact of Ethereum being built out from two directions, the distributed DeFi side and the centralized corporate side is such a bullish case, short, mid, and long term. So theoretically, what could be Ethereum's price because of this when Bitcoin reaches certain price levels, like back to 12K, 14K, and even back to its old time high of 20K? Let's begin with just a slight push up to that 12K level for BTC. As we can see, the last time BTC did it, it was September 1st, and Ethereum on that day got up to $480. Will this happen again with the next visit? Actually, I think it's going to be slightly lower, around $450 due to the attacks, vampire mining schemes, and more as they try to steal that DeFi hype. Disappointing, but Ethereum will break out on the next two legs up for the Bitcoin price level. Let me explain. Most developers are still building on Ethereum, and they will for the foreseeable future. Thus, any revolutionary DeFi product will be deployed with Ethereum Ethereum first. This is the first punch in the short to midterm. The second punch is those enterprise integrations, Digital Dollar News, Microsoft, AMD, Baseline. There is a lot of good news that could drop for Ethereum in this time. So at 14K BTC, I would put Ethereum nearly doubling its price and getting up to $750. But past this, 14K is when Ethereum will set itself apart. Let me try and explain. So these centralized chat heads, all they're doing is copying and pasting Ethereum smart contracts, Solidity, and the Ethereum virtual machine, then adding their own little adjustments to fit the consensus of their chains. But all of them are still adhering to the Solidity smart contract language. Very inexperienced developers who are pushing out the code faster and faster and leaving vulnerabilities wide open. Literally, the Binance smart chain white paper was announced in April of this year, and they all already have pushed out a mainnet. So I know two weeks ago I put out this video saying the billion dollar DeFi hack was coming and I thought it would be on Ethereum, but it's not. It's going to be on one of these chains. Pushing out the copycats way too fast. I mean, you can't help your centralized exchange from getting hacked. How do you expect to stop the attack range of Solidity smart contracts? And when and if it happens, swoosh, it will be the writing in stone that sets Ethereum apart as the leader of DeFi, and a mass exodus of the built-up liquidity will exit to Ethereum and potentially be the event in history which kills the centralized exchanges for good. Thus, I would put Ethereum surpassing its old all-time high of around 1.4K and hitting a cool 2,000 bucks. So the world of Ethereum is getting something the others are not. The competitors, they're trying to steal DeFi currently, but NFTs are growing on Ethereum. Decentralized insurance is growing. Corporate interest is bubbling. Don't be left behind or tricked by the others. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.